Let's look at one more method to solve these quadratic equations, and that's using the quadratic formula. It says my solutions are of the form negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So let's do some examples to use this. 2x squared plus 5x minus 8 equal to 0. In this case, a is 2, b is 5, and c is negative 8. My quadratic formula says it's negative b, so negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is negative 8, all over 2 times a, which is 2. And now we just need to simplify. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 2 times 8 is 64. All over 2 times 2, which is 4. This is negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 89 over 4. And here are my solutions to this equation. I now want to look at 6x squared plus 7x minus 20. In this case, a is 6, b is 7, and c is minus 20. So my quadratic formula says negative b, which is 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 7 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 6, times c, which is negative 20, all over 2 times a, which is 6. So I have negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 plus 480, all divided by 2 times 6 is 12. And this is negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 529 all over 12. If we scroll down a little bit, we can actually take the square root of 529. When we do, we get 23. So this is minus 7 plus or minus 23 over 12. This means I have negative 7 plus 23 over 12, as well as negative 7 minus 23 over 12. Negative 7 plus 23 is 16, divided by 12. That would be 4 thirds. And then negative 7 minus 23 over 12, that's negative 30 over 12, or minus 5 halves. So I have my two answers. And the fact that I could actually evaluate the square root right here tells me that I should have been able to just factor this quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula does work even if you could have factored the equation, you will still get the results. Now let's look at x squared plus 3x plus 8. In this case, a is 1, b is 3, and c is 8. So my quadratic formula says negative b, so minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a. As I'm simplifying, this becomes the square root of 9 minus 32, all over 2. So now I have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 23 over 2. However, we have an issue right here. I cannot take the square root of a negative number, which means this quadratic here has no possible solution.